Time now to be joined by Eddie Olchek as we look at the contenders for this year's Pegasus. Edzo, it's Cyber Knife, two-time yeah. grade one winner last year at age three. Yeah, I mean, look at uh, second in the uh, Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. Uh, seems to be working very, very well for this run of the Pegasus. I, I think the biggest key for me, for, for Brad Cox, the trainer of Cyber Knife, is I do believe that this horse can be tactical here, Jeremy. So mm-hmm. what, what is, how, how do I look at that when I describe a horse to be able to be tactical? Um, if, if the pace is to their liking and they feel that they can command that being cyber knife is to go ahead and be very close and dictate the terms, or mm-hmm. he does have races in his past performances in particular in the Haskell, where if they go way too quick, Right. is that he's able to sit back a little bit and be able to make that one run and, and roll him down. I, I think the one thing that I've been impressed with Cyberknife, uh, Jeremy, is that he he just seems to relish getting into that battle to mm-hmm. be able to just yeah. go and, and, and dig and not be a follower, but to mm-hmm. be a leader and to want to be right there at the front. And if you're owning a horse or you're betting a horse, you want one of those horses that has that type of uh, – um, that stick to it and intuitiveness, that heart, right. that drive to be able to be a real battler down the lane when the race is really a won or lost. A lot of profiles for the Pegasus World Cup fit nicely for Cyberknife. He's coming out of the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. That's produced the last two winners of this race, as well as City of Light. So three winners. Brad Cox won this race with Nick's go two years ago. Florent Giroux won it aboard uh, the great gunrunner, who happens to be the sire of Cyberknife. Yeah. So uh, there are a lot of stars aligning for Cyberknife, Eddie. Well, there, there is. And, you know, when you look at the combination of Cox and Giroux and, you know, this horse – as I said earlier, seems to be uh, traveling very well in the mornings. So uh, we'll be the first career start at Gulfstream. So certainly something to take into your handicapping uh, equation when it comes mm-hmm. to trying to, to figure out. But uh, this horse is running all the big races here in the last, yeah. what, five, six months, Jeremy, right? I mean, yeah. you got the, you mentioned, we mentioned the Dirt Mile, the Pennsylvania Derby, the Travers, the Haskell. Uh, obviously running in the Kentucky Derby as well. So uh, this is a horse that uh, I think we'll be hearing a little bit more of uh, Mm -hmm. as this year goes on. But again, depending on post position, I I keep harping on that, but it's such an important part. Uh, Where does he draw and uh, what kind of trip he's going to get? But again, tactical to me is the key with Cyberknife. Cyberknife, one of the favorites for the January 28th Pegasus World Cup.